Plantar fasciitis and or fasciosis can be a very challenging condition to treat in the office and at home. Now, the protocol that we're gonna use in this video series here is we're going to start by looking at the tissue quality in terms of flexibility and mobility. So we're gonna improve those aspects of the condition. And then from there, we're gonna do some targeted strengthening of the foot and the surrounding plantar fascia as best we can using um, the small intrinsic muscles and try to strengthen them up to help support the, the foot and the plantar fascia. Then we're gonna look a little bit more globally after that to where we're gonna start strengthening up the calf musculature, we're gonna strengthen maybe the hip and, and work on coordination of the movements going down our lower extremity to help take pressure off of the, the area where you're having the pain in the plantar fascia. So with that process, it's gonna be a step-by-step -step process over several weeks, but you should start seeing significant improvement in the intensity of the pain, in the frequency of the pain, as well as the quality of the pain. Now, going back to activity, it, it kind of depends on what your activity is and, and some strategies that you can utilize to help prevent plantar fasciitis or fasciosis from coming back. So I'll use running as an example. If you're a competitive runner and you're training for a marathon and get plantar fasciitis, you do not wanna go right back to the same volume and intensity that you were doing when you first had this injury. So you want to first gradually build up some volume and get those tissues back to working in the capacity that you need them to for running. So you'll get that sport specific strength. And then once you get confidence in that, you don't have any flare ups, then you can start reintroducing some short speed work. And then you can start going back to your regular speed work over a period of weeks. Now, other things that you can do to help with the pain as you're progressing along is you can use taping techniques to the bottom of the foot and sometimes the bottom or the lower leg that can help take some pressure off of the plantar fascia to help your day-to-day -day tasks feel a little bit better there's other devices such as the strasburg sock which will help stretch out the the tissue overnight so that then it doesn't tighten right back up and then makes those first few steps very painful in the morning uh, night splints are also something that patients have had success with but the, the general consensus is the night splint is just difficult to sleep with. A uh, strategy that you could use is use a night splint or the Strasburg sock if you're just sitting around your living room watching TV, watching a movie, whatever it is, throw on the sock, throw on the night splint, and you'll get a few hours of use of it while you're in the living room.